Hey, how's it going? In this video, I want to answer one of uh, you guys' questions. You asked me how to drop your CPA in a cold market while scaling for an e-commerce product. Okay, so um, like literally anything else in marketing, uh, people buy things because they want to buy out of their problems. Okay, so they buy things out of a solution. They need to solve a problem in some way. I buy a watch because I want to know the time. And it's very annoying and uh, waste a lot of time opening up my phone to, to check the time. Make sense? Okay, so in the same way, uh, for you, if you want to drop the CPA, so you want to drop your cost per acquisition because it's too expensive to acquire the customer now, okay? Uh, it's actually very, very simple, okay? If you see data on Facebook Business Manager and you understand that your cost per purchase is too high, it just means your copy is not resonating with the market enough. That is really, that's really simple. It's really the just fundamentals of marketing. Is you need to go back and find out why customers are not buying, okay? And these things, you cannot fix it by ads. You need to actually like go to your email list Go and literally ask people, right, on your email list, on Messenger, or whatever it is, your past customers, why aren't you buying? And then they'll, li they'll literally just tell you. People don't, don't think about this because they just look at ads all the time. But, like, really, like, people are people. You just ask them. They will tell you. <laughs> Everyone loves to talk. If uh, Yeah, okay? So if you're just willing to listen, uh, you actually can hear a lot of things, okay? And then from the insights that you get from, from your customers and stuff, right, you go back to the copy, you go back to the creative, go back to the landing, the landing page, and you change... Uh, the things that your customers want, put that in the landing page. Your CPA will drop immediately. I'll, I'll tell you that. Okay. Another thing, after you do that, also understand what they are buying it for. Okay. So my my pain about this watch, right? This watch right here, is because I I I hate looking at my phone, because it it wastes time. I want to just check check my wrist. I want to check my my wrist on the watch, right? So um in that sense, that pain point should be resonated uh, and should be put inside the product page as well, okay? When someone reads something and it feels like they are talking, uh, uh, it's exactly what their, their, their brain is saying, it, it resonates 100% and the cost of acquisition goes down as a result of that because they resonate with the, the, the market so much, okay? So always go back to first principles and look at make, make the offer irresistible, right? I call it irresistible, sexy offer, whatever you want to call it, okay? Apart from that, think about these things as well, okay? So imagine your business, Okay, you know, understand, have to change the copy and the messaging as well. Second thing you need to do, you can try all these things. Okay, think about, can I offer someone a bonus? Okay, what I mean by a bonus is like, uh, for example, this watch right here, right? Can I offer them, a, 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 for example, a free strap when they buy two of these? So I, I basically increase my average order value, plus I'm giving them a bonus, so they think it's a good deal. Make sense? Okay, can I offer them free shipping maybe? Buy one, get one free. Can I offer them a digital product? Okay, I have no idea what you would like for a digital product for this, but maybe a PDF of the top 10, top 10 luxurious uh, watches, or something like that, you know, right? you know what I mean? For like watch fanatics, right? Um, for example, you're selling a like, kitchen product, right? Um, uh, top 10 recipes uh, that you cook in your backyard, right? Uh, it'll give you for free if you buy this right now, right? Or And especially um, festivals and holidays as well. Um, you can use the, the angles for that, right? I mean, for example, for Father's Day or whatever, right? Those those are things that make the offer sexier, in a sense, okay? And then obviously, um, to drop the CPA as well, look, always look at the numbers on cold traffic, okay? So I, I don't I don't even care about warm traffic most of the time because I know as long as I can be profitable on cold, uh, I can scale, okay? So I always try to just try, la, just try to be more than two times ROAS on cold traffic and uh, yeah, okay? So hopefully that's answers your question. Um, yeah, let, let me know if that's okay. Um, if you have any other questions as well, please put them down in the comment section below. Uh, I'll create videos around that and I'll try to answer you guys' questions uh, to help you guys. Okay, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, see you in the next one.